right, we got the OBS build. Um, well, it's not built yet. Uh, as of right now, I've only gotten to the third step, I believe, but we'll get into that later. Uh, I picked up this Chevy 1991 Chevy Silverado. Uh, I love these old body styles. Uh, I grew up, you know, my dad had a 93 Blazer, I believe, and that's what I learned how to drive when I was about 14 years old. Uh, that's the vehicle I learned how to drive in. Anyway, <laughs> really has nothing to do with it, but I, I think just subliminally, I always, you know, had a, a love for these, these, uh, this body style. But anyway, this truck, you know, was sitting in my cousin's yard for a long time. Uh, it was getting used every now and again, and I felt that, you know, I, I couldn't let it sit there anymore. So I said, just let me, you know, fix it up a little bit. The plan as of right now is to clean it thoroughly, number one. Number two is to sand, prepare it, and paint it. Uh, I want to do a roll pan, take off the rear bumper, and I want to do a 4-6 drop, which involves C-notching the frame and all that fun stuff. Uh, head and tail lights, you know, need replaced. And then later on, I'll do the interior. And with that goes, you know, sound system. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, but, but they're all simple things. Like these trucks are so readily available. All the parts for them are readily available. You can buy almost every part for this truck brand new still. And it's cheap. Everything's cheap. I mean, I, I'm basically doing all that to this truck for like under $2,000. But it's going to sit over the winter. And being in Pennsylvania, it, you know, snows here and, and we have rough winters and we have rusty vehicles up here. Uh, I don't know if you southern people have ever seen a northern vehicle, but they don't last very long. This truck doesn't have hardly any rust on it. As you can see, the interior is pretty rough and it needs thoroughly cleaned out, but that's the last thing I'm going to focus on. Cleaning it out is the first thing and scrubbing the truck down, but you know, from sitting for a while, there were lots of cobwebs and uh, rust. So the roof and the hoods on these things usually go first. Uh, I don't know what it is about the 90s and the clear coat peeling off, but they they didn't do a very very good job <laughs> for, for for whatever reason so i just rattle can this man I, I i don't care you know i needed to to find a simple solution to keeping it from rusting i knew it was going to sit all winter so as far as i got at the moment is a fresh you know three coat rattle can paint job and you already know the future plans but as of right now this is as far as I've gotten now with that being said I do have all the parts on the way the roll pan the lowering kit the flip kit all that stuff and the tail lights and headlights they're all on their way and in the next episode that's what we'll be doing but I just wanted to show you how it turned out right now with a simple rattle can $35 paint job man and uh I mean, I'm not complaining. So, hopefully, you know, I'm not sure what I want to do with the grill. I might, I might paint the grill black, but we'll see. Stay tuned for the next episode. Well, see what I mean about Pennsylvania? Good thing I put a $35 paint job on this, or that snow would just be sitting and melting on top of rust for about four months straight. But, in the next episode, I am going to be putting on the flip kit, and we're going to lower this down. Four in the front, and six in the back, and we'll see what else we get to. 